Sabbath and we're going to cook a stew in our adobe oven overnight. Uh, we've looked for it done before and we heard about it and read about it that they used to do that for their Sabbath. They would put it in there and let it cook overnight and then the next day they were just able to get it out. So we're going to test out our, our cob oven just that way. I feel something building up inside me I must prepare I must get ready Serving you Yahweh Keeps me strong and steady For you Lord I'll go for green living What we have to do is start a fire and I'm going to try to show y'all the one match thing this is one handed I'm sorry Covering up part of the camera here. <laughs> this is so hard. My one match method. Let's see if it works. I see the sticks are already burning, guys. So I'm going to turn it over to Krista and let her put our stew together. Hi, friends. Krista here. As Daniel has already told y'all that we are cooking in the adobe oven tonight for Sabbath tomorrow. Um, we always prepare our meals a day before for Sabbath. That's our belief. And when we got this book, I was actually at a homesteading slash prepper convention to me i really really love books they're very essential on the homestead and as i was reading this one in the back it starts talking about how people used to prepare their food for sabbath and i had already had the idea about the adobe oven with us having experience cooking in it, as long as it stays hot but daniel was kind of iffy <laughs> So, when I got this book, it really helped things out. So, I'm really excited to show y'all how things turn out and show y'all how we're going to prepare our meal for tomorrow. So, Just I've got my cute beef in there, um, my carrots, and my potatoes. I've also got an onion in there, minced garlic, and I'm fixing to add my beef broth. Then, I'm going to take it out to Daniel. And show y'all the rest. Ooh wee! That should cook good and long. Take it in the house. Okay. We'll show y'all more in the house. All right. The <clears throat> we needed to add a little water, so we add a little water to it. But it's looking good. It looks like good stew to us. The meat is just falling apart. Some of the potatoes on the top got really, really done. So I might have had the temperature a little too hot. I should have maybe let it cool off just a little bit more. But it's all about learning, so I hope y'all enjoy, and we'll enjoy ours too. So, Ani Ove Ocha means I love you in Hebrew. Later, guys. Bye, YouTube friends. Live in the way you meant for me to live Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Leave me at your pace for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery. From all this worldly pain and 
captivity for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady.